Let's take a look at, at an example of how to solve a mixing problem. Two tanks A and B are separated using a partition. Initially, tank A contains 2 kg of steam at 1 MPa and 300 degrees C, while tank B contains 3 kg of saturated mixture at 150 degrees C, with a 50% vapor mass fraction. The partition is removed and the two sides are allowed to mix until the mechanical and the thermal equilibrium is established. The pressure at the final stage is 300 kPa. Determine the temperature and the quality of the steam at the final state and the amount of heat loss from the tanks. We follow the same four-step problem solving procedure. We identify the system, process, and the substance used Fill the table with missing properties, determine work, apply the corresponding first law. In this case, from the problem statement, we can identify the system is closed, substance used is water. When the partition is removed, the water in both tanks will mix, so we can call this a mixing problem. The reason that this system is closed is that if we define the control volume of the system to include both tanks, then with the partition removed or not removed, we can consider the system is closed because there's no mass flowing across the system's boundary. And this is one item that's worthwhile to notice much easier to solve the problem if you identify the system and define the system as being closed. Since this is a mixing problem, even though there is a volume change across um, the tank A and tank B, but the overall there isn't any volume change or rather the volume change will not be accompanied by resistance. So for a mixing problem, boundary work is equal to zero. Step two, find the missing properties. The two tanks for state one are specified as two separate states. During the final state, the partition is removed. Since the control volume include both tanks, we assume the system is closed, thus the mass for tank 2 is equal to the summation of masses of tank 1A and tank 1B. The rest are simply given in the problem. For state 1A, there are two intensive properties PT, state 1B, two intensive properties TX, State 2, we only have one intensive property, but we should be able to find at least everything for state 1A and state 1B. Once we found all of the properties for state 1A and 1B, mass is the sum of tank A plus pan B volume is also the sum of tank A and tank B. From mass volume, I can find specific volume for state 2. With two intensive properties given in state 2 at 300 kPa and this, we should now be able to find the rest of the properties. Step 3. Since this is a mixing problem, my boundary work will equal to zero. There were no paddle wheel nor electrical resistance present. Both the paddle wheel work and electrical work are both equal to zero. We know now the first law is Q equal to work plus the change of internal energy. Work for all three types are equal to zero. 
we can write the changes of internal energy as internal energy at the final state minus internal energy of the first state. Since there are two tanks, the inter initial internal energy will equal to the initial energy of tank A plus the internal energy at tank B. From the property tables, we're able to determine the values for mass and the values for internal energies. After plugging everything in, we then find my, the total heat transfer rate is equal to negative 3959 kilojoule.